Okay, so last week I did a micro lesson. That's these little short mini lessons on a specific topic. We did a micro lesson that was really popular, and it was on the idea of taking the minor pentatonic scale, just a few notes from that, and connecting it to a chord. So that you can sort of have this little visual anchor, and it becomes like a container, so you can play in any key. And I'll actually put that up on the screen right now if you want to uh, check that out as a refresher. This is going to be a continuation on that lesson. So it ended up being so popular that I, you know, I had a lot of requests for this and what I thought would I thought about different ideas for this and what I want to do this week is attach the major pentatonic scale to that same container I want to put that in the same container so that you've got this movable little piece that you can play in any key and and so we're gonna be playing this in the key of G but let me, let's do a quick refresher of what we uh, looked at last week so last week we took the G chord here this is your bar chord that's the E shape out of caged, even though it's the G chord, it's the E shape. These three fingers make up the E shape. And to that, I attached part of minor pentatonic scale pattern one. We, we attached this part. Those notes connected to this chord shape. Well, the first thing I want to do is just, we're just going to, just to round it out, we're going to add two more notes to that. Now, these are the repeats of the notes we're already playing. They're just played in a different octave. So we're going to add the sixth fret first string and we're gonna add the third fret, fourth string. So now what we have is that. All of that is just the minor pentatonic scale, pattern one. And remember, in the pentatonic scale, penta means five, there's just five notes. So when you notice these patterns have a lot more than five notes, you're just repeating notes. You're just played in a different octave. If you, you can check that out and see what I'm talking about. But that's what we're going to add to to start with. We're going to add those, those two notes. So now we have our G chord. We have our minor pentatonic scale pattern one. And the two are connected. That's the first big takeaway. You got to connect those two, right? Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to connect major pentatonic scale pattern two. So it looks like this. If you don't know the patterns, just, just follow along here. I'm going to put it all up on the screen so, uh, so you can have this. So pattern two. Looks like that. Now, you can keep going down. I'm, I'm actually intentionally eliminating strings five and six. There's a lot of reasons for it. It's just repeats of the same notes. And to be honest, when you're playing lead, Yes, you do play those low notes some, but most of what you're needing just to get going, which the whole point of this lesson is keeping it simple, can happen on those top four strings. And so I thought it would make more sense to just keep our variables low. So this is what we're looking at. That would be your major pentatonic scale uh, for the key of G, the G major pentatonic scale. Now think about what you have here now. In your arsenal, you have the chord, You've got your minor pentatonic scale pattern one connected to that chord. And now you have major pentatonic scale pattern two. I'm just gonna eliminate saying patterns. Those are kind of irrelevant. They're just sort of little markers. You have the major pentatonic scale and the minor pentatonic scale and they're connected to a chord. What that means now is you have control when you're improvising, you can steer this thing uh, minor if you want it to sound more sad or bluesy or major if you want it to sound more happy. Now here's the general rule for how that works. I get this question all the time and I'm gonna make it really simple. If the song is in a minor key, meaning its main chord, the tonal center of the song is a minor chord. So if we're playing an A, or let's do G, we'll play a G minor for example. You could only use the minor pentatonic scale. You could not use the G major pentatonic scale if the song is in a minor key. However, if the song is in a major key, uh, you know, and it could have lots of chords, you could even have a minor chord in a major key song, but if the tonal center, the main chord, the root chord is a major chord, like the G major, then you can play either major or minor pentatonic scale. That's a hard concept to get across because it's, it's different depending on if it's a major key or minor key. So if the song is a major key, I can play major pentatonic scale and make this the, the lead or pull the direction of the, the feel of the song and make it happy. However, I can dial this in if I want to dial in a little blues. I can throw in that minor pentatonic scale. 
even over that G major chord, same chord, and I'm dialing it into more of a bluesy feel. So think about that, you can steer this thing. So if you want it to sound happy, there's your major. Let's make it bluesy. All right, now let's blend them. This is where it gets really cool. So that's what I wanted to really focus on in this is blending the major and the minor pentatonic scale. And all that means is you take this major uh, pentatonic scale that you just learned and you take the minor one that you know and you start to play them as if they were one scale. And here's the easy way to do that. When, when you're looking at the minor pentatonic scale pattern one, let's look at just those first two strings. Watch this. See the pattern there? Inside it, I've got that little box, the BB box, but as a container outside of that, I've got the minor pentatonic scale. So if I put them together, I've got that. Now let's come down to the third string. And we're gonna go five, three, fifth fret, third fret, and then the fourth fret. There's that little piece. So when I'm looking at that major pentatonic scale pattern two, that note, that's the third of your chord, by the way. So this is another very magical spot between this fifth fret and third fret, because you can go, you can steer it minor and major very easily. There's major, because I'm hitting that note. If I leave that out, sounds minor right now watch when I add that hear how it sounds happy it changed the it pulled you in a different direction just by adding that third and that's really the difference between a major chord and a minor chord is if you're playing the third like that it's a major chord if you flat the third it's a minor chord that's it that's the only difference between a major and a minor chord is that flat third so now when we're improvising we have the ability to play just the major pentatonic scale and make everything sound really happy or we have the ability to play just the minor pentatonic scale and make it sound really sad or we can blend the two you can play in between where we take a note from the minor we take a note from the major and we kind of work them together and I'm gonna give you a few licks that you can use that are good licks of, good examples of blending the two. The first one that pops in my head without me even, and I didn't plan anything for this, by the way, this is all just sort of uh, being made up as I'm doing this. But the first one that I always think of is one that I learned when I was first learning lead. I learned this from Freddie King. It looks like that. Let me show you that. And you can see now, hopefully you can see as we break this down, where those scales live now. So yeah, it starts up here on the sixth fret, first string, then we come down to the third fret, and then we go to that fifth fret, first string. So that's really cool. You got the minor pentatonic scale right into the major, and then you play the uh, fifth fret, second string, and then back to that uh, third fret, first string. So you can see by, hitting those two notes, we're, we're touching on those notes from the major pentatonic scale. So let, let's back it up. We have... And then... This is back to the 6th fret, 2nd string. Down to the 5th fret, down to the 3rd fret. See what we're doing there? Minor pentatonic, major pentatonic. So... And then we're going to come down to the 3rd fret third string, fifth fret, fourth string, and then there's that hammer on, the pull into the major. And you can even bar uh, the first three strings there on that third fret and place strings two and three, and then hammer that on that way. Or even three, two, and one. You can do it that way. So you have really cool lick. I love that. Now take that lick and let that be a good launching pad for you uh, into mixing the major and the minor pentatonic scale. It's a great example of it. And one thing you may want to do is what we did last week, where we slide into the chord, kind of a call and response, that's the call, and then the response is playing a lead. That, so you've got the call, and then play a little something. And what I would recommend starting with is this major pentatonic scale. 
pattern uh, two of that major pentatonic scale that we just learned. So let that be your first lick. Like this. I'm just making it up. Right? Now that time I hit that note, which is minor pentatonic. That was sort of an accident. But you can see that you can do the same thing, but play the made, get the major vibe going. And you're connecting it to that chord. This is the big thing. This is why this is so important. Because now you can take this and play it in C. Right? You're not limited to a key. This is something you can do in any key. And this is great practice to, to, to be able to use your ear and d let your ear be the dial. Do you, do you want it to sound major? Do you want it to sound minor? Or do you want to blend them? So let me just play through then. I'll play a little bit more of this. I'll start off major, then I'll go to minor, and then we'll blend them. So here we go. Let's go minor. Hear the difference? Let's blend them. Anyway, I didn't realize there was a few little flubs there, but you get the point, right? You get the point that you can be in control if the song is in a major key. Now, if you really want to take it to the next level, play in a minor key. And just play the minor pentatonic scale only. Now we're going to go to the four chord, which will be minor. Back to the one. Here's your five chord. Right, so you can go either way. You can go major or minor in terms of the key. But hopefully you understand those rules. Remember, if it's a minor key, you can only use the minor pentatonic scale. If it's a major key, you can play major or minor, or you can blend them. All right, so if you're a premium member, I do have a little tabbed out piece. I like to throw out these little perks to premium members. So to get that, you can go to activemelody.com slash micro and do a search for ML074.